Hey guys, what's up? It's Scotty Lachlan here. We're in the workshop. I've got my Scott Ransom in the stand and I've got 10 maintenance tips to keep your ride running smoothly. So let's get this started. Tip number one is to clean the bike. As you can see here, my Ransom is absolutely immaculate. I've given it a good wash down and I start by using a hose pipe, a little bit of bike wash, and then I can either use brushes or sponges to get in there if it's really stuck on. And we all know that a clean bike is a fast bike. Tip number two, after you've washed the bike, give it a dry down. I like to use one of these, it's a microfiber cloth, and for whatever reason, I find that when you dry the bike with it, it gives it an extra little polish. And if you have missed any little sections or you've got some water smear on there, just wipes it off nicely. You can look at the shine on that, perfect. Now I actually want to clean the chain, so I'm just gonna use a different cloth to the one that I used to polish it, dry that down, get anything excess off there, and then we're gonna lubricate the chain at the same time. Now, depending on the time of the year, you might use a dry lube or you might use a wet lube. That depends where you're riding and the conditions that you're in. But it just runs so much smoother now. It's looking great. We've cleaned and lubricated that chain. We're now going to move on how I look after my suspension. So the first thing I do is I take my clean cloth and I'll just wipe around the fork seal. Then I will move on to the shock get rid of any dirt that is there, and then the same for the seat post. So once that's done, I'm gonna take a silicon spray or some shock oil and just put that around the fork stanchions, the shock, and also the seat post. Push down on each of them once, let them return, and what I might see is a little bit of dirt has just actually come out of the seal right there. I'm gonna wipe that away, and whilst this doesn't mean that you can't do your service intervals, it just means that they're gonna run smoother for a little bit longer. This next tip is one that was drilled into me when I was really young. It's all about just maintaining and looking after your bike. It's taking your wheels off, undoing those axles, giving them a clean, wiping them down, and then reapplying fresh grease. And you can do the same to your pedals too. This is about overall bike health. Whilst we're talking about wheels, let's talk about how you might maintain them. Give that wheel a spin, see how it's feeling, make sure that it's running freely, but you don't want it to be vibrating. That is just about right. And now we're gonna move on to the tires. So let's just have a look at the tires all the way around, just checking, having a look, making sure that nothing is stuck in between any of the knobs so that there's any tears and they're in good condition. And then finally, you can inspect the rim, make sure that there's no damage there. And at the same time, if you've not done it for a while, you could think about checking the levels of your tubeless sealant. We've checked over the wheels and the tires and they're looking good. Let's move on to the brakes. Come up to the bars, grab those brake levers, pull them in a couple of times, see how they're feeling. They're feeling pretty awesome. If they're feeling spongy, then perhaps they might need a bleed. At the same time, you can also come down and you actually check your disc rotors. You can have a look at the pads, make sure that they've got plenty of life left in them, both front and the rear. We're looking good. Give them a spin, should be running freely. No rubbing, because if they're rubbing, then they're not going to be as efficient as they should be. We're perfect, good to go. Well, I've already lubed up that chain. Now let's just check over the gears and make sure that they're running smoothly. Shifting all the way down, and then back up. That is looking pretty awesome. Very happy with that. We can get on to the next thing. Grab your Allen keys and give it a thorough bolt check. I like to start at one end and finish at the other. So I'll start at the front brake caliper, work my way up onto the cockpit, check everything there, then through the linkage of the bike, check my seat post, saddle, and then finish off on the drivetrain and the brake caliper, making sure that everything is tight. Now is a really good time if you have a torque wrench to grab it and to use it to tie in everything up to the manufacturer's recommended guidelines. My final tip for the video is to grab your shock pump and your tire pressure gauge, get those settings dialed in, make sure that you've got your suspension set up right and that your tire pressure is inflated correctly because those little settings are gonna make big differences when you go out riding. Hope that you guys have found this video helpful and if you've got any comments then please leave them down below and I'll see you out on the trails real soon.